Hi everyone, welcome back to the Acne channel. I'm Felicia and today I'd like to talk about the different types of acne scars that you might be experiencing and we're gonna talk a little bit about the treatment plan to treat those scars, to lessen the appearance of those scars or just to heal those scars. So rolling scars have sloping edges and they're the most common type of scar that you can have. Some treatments include laser therapy, intensive pulse light, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, and microneedling to treat rolling scars. The second type of um, acne scar we're going to talk about are boxcar scars. Now these are deeper than rolling scars and their edges are very defined. So they're a little bit more difficult to treat and get rid of than rolling scars because of these characteristics. Because box scars are going to be deeper in nature than rolling scars, if you go to the route of um, chemical peels or microdermabrasion, they're not really going to be the best option for you. So there are surgical options that you can go such as punch out excisions, surgical subcisions, and of course, microneedling. So the type of acne scars are called ice pick scars. And like the name suggests, they're going to be small, narrow, but very deep scars. So traditional resurfacing agents like chemical peels and microdermabrasions are just not going to work. So usually what people do is they go with the surgical options again. So for this type of scar, the punch out excision is going to be the most popular treatment plan. And just like any type of depression scars, what you want to do is find a treatment that will disrupt the scar tissue so that it allows for the regeneration and replacement of healthy tissue. And that's kind of the overarching concept of how to get rid of acne scars. All right, so the last type of scar we're going to talk about are hypertrophic and keloid scars. So they're the opposite of depression scars. Um, they are actually excess of collagen and they form scars that go upward um, above the skin surface. So it produces very thick and rubbery scars so the types of treatments that I talked about are not really going to work for these type of scars. What will work are silicone sheets and pressure dressings. So these types of treatments, um, what it essentially does is you really want to compress and even out those keloid hypertrophic scars. So that's why it's a really good treatment plan if you have those type of scars. All right, so those are the different types of acne scars that you might have. And we've talked a little bit about the different types of treatment plans and the different types of treatment options that you can take. And so again, I hope this is helpful and that um, because you know what type of acne scar you have, you can make an informed decision on what type of treatment will work for you and so yes thank you again for watching and i will see you next time bye